Ray Wheatley for five years. I'm here with two-time world champion Daniel Gill, who will challenge for the IBO World Super Middleweight title on June the 24th in Sydney. How are you, Daniel? How you going, Ray? Good. Feeling good, mate? You, you've been training for this fight? Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been been in the gym a lot, um, been keeping fit, been, uh, yeah, putting on a little bit of uh, muscle as well. And I can see that. You've been doing special exercises for that? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I've, I've been working hard, um, you know, trying to get myself stronger and, uh, you know, I guess concentrating on getting back to, you know, things that, that made me successful mm -hmm. a little while back. And you're still very hungry, mate, eh? Still very hungry. You know, I, I believe I've still got more left in me and, uh, you know, there's definitely more titles there to be won still. So, you know, I'm, I'm still very keen and uh, you know, looking forward to the future. So have you started sparring for this uh, June the 24th fight? Uh, we're just, just about to start sparring. We've, we've done little bits and pieces over the last sort of month or so. But, mm -hmm. yeah, we're about to start, you know, the, the official stuff and, um, you know, get prepared properly. Yeah. Do you know who will be your uh, sparring partners for this fight? Uh, at, at this stage, you know, I know Rob Medley's coming back in. Right, to, the former Lord Raider well. light middleweight. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be fighting on this card as well, so you know he's going to be great preparation as and well. And he's, he's now boxing in super middleweight too. That's right, yeah. Right, right. yeah. I mean, so that'll be great to see. And, and you always done most of your work with Rob Bentley, right? Uh, we've done a lot of rounds together yeah. over the years, me and Rob. When you were world champ, he was like your main sparring partner. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah he helped me prepare for a lot of fights. Now, now you have not boxed since June of last year, That's uh, so nine, ten months you've been out of the ring. Yep. Do you think there'll be any ring rust there? Uh, you know, because I've been so busy, I think, you know, I've, I've kept the rust away as much as possible, but, you know, obviously I, I just want to get back in there and, uh, you know, get, get back to what I was doing best before, you know, I, I started falling into a few little traps, yeah, okay. um, probably in my last couple of fights, and, you know, I want to get that out of me and I want to get back to, you know, what, what was making me win so much before. Yeah. Now, this will be for the vacant IBO Super Middleweight title, so at this point, uh, Renal Quinlan looks like being the opponent. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's it's looking great. I mean, you know, we, we couldn't ask for anything better, really. I mean, a, a title um, for my first fight at, at the, the new weight. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's great to see. It's a great um, step for me. Sure. Um, it, it pushes me in the right spot as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, I want to I want to keep fighting at the top level, and uh, you know, this is the way to do it. Okay. Now, uh, we have other well-rated uh, super middleweights, uh, Zach Dunn, Rowan Murdoch, Sergio Biker, Blake Caparello. Are they on your radar for 2016? Uh, definitely. You know, my, I mean, all those fighters, are, they're, they're great fighters, um, mm -hmm. good, great Aussie fighters. So, I mean, you know, my team have you know, already been in talks with you know, most of the yeah. guys. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just getting myself prepared as best possible. And my team, you know, w when we see fit, you know, we'll, we'll fight those guys or, mm -hmm. you know, whoever's put in front of me. And you've boxed all those guys in the gym and um, yep. you're yeah. confident you could... Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I know I've changed. I know yeah. things have definitely improved. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting back to, you know, where I, what I do best. Uh, at this extra weight, do you feel you'll be, um, there'll be more toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges uh, now that you're bigger and stronger? You know, I, I think... You know, I think I'm going to have a, a little bit more confidence, um, yeah. it, especially because I'm not killing myself to get down the way, yeah. especially in that last fight. I mean, you know, that, that sort of zaps the confidence out of you. And, um, you know, I try to keep telling myself that it, it had no effect, but, you know, looking back on it, 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 it you know, it probably had had a, a pretty decent effect. So I yeah. know now, you know, I, I've decided I'm not going to do that. So mm. I know now that I'm going to step in the ring, I'm going to be confident, I'm going to be feeling good, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be feeling strong, and, yeah. and I can push my body. It's nothing, uh, it must have been nothing worse than uh, getting in there with someone like Cotto and you had to get down to 157 pounds, three pounds under the middleweight limit. Yeah, I mean, making, making middleweight was tough anyway. Making yeah. 160 was tough, yeah. but with 157, it was, it was just yeah, too was much. Tough. Too much. Now, let's go through the champions. Uh, IBF champion James DeGaulle, uh, you've seen him. What do you think about your uh, chances with James DeGaulle? Yeah, James DeGaulle, I mean, a great fighter. Um, yeah. You know, I've, I've watched him. Yeah, a few times, and uh, you know he's impressed me each time. He, he's got a great skill level, good power as well, and uh, you know he, his work rate is is good to watch as well. So you know he, he definitely. You could outwork him. You feel yeah, you I believe so. Yeah, you know, yeah. I believe that you know I'd, I'd throw something different in there as well. You know, I guess an advantage or a disadvantage at, at this new weight is is I'm going to be a little bit smaller in size than some of these guys. Some of these mm. guys are you know six foot or or above. So. James no, DeGales around six foot. Yep, yep. Some of these slightly Badu shorter. Badu Jack, the WBC champ. Yep. He's about a six footer. Yep, yep. Arthur Abraham's shorter than you, I would think. 
Yeah, he's around similar. your height. Yeah, pretty close, not far away. I think he's five nine, so you're about five, five nearly ten. five five ten and a half. Yeah. 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 Uh, now it's interesting. The guy you took the WBA title off, Felix Sturm, is now the WBA super middleweight champ. Yep. Would you be interested in another uh, a rematch? Give him the opportunity. Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, I'd, I'd love to go back. You know, if he had to travel back to Germany again, um, you know, I'd, I'd love another, another opportunity with Felix. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'd, he'd probably want to get one back on me as well, or get one back on the Aussies. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he, he had a lot of trouble with Sam Solomon as well. And uh, you know, if, if he wanted me to come back, you know, I'd be more than happy to, to come. Fight him in Germany. Fight him in Germany. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Okay, Daniel. Thanks for your time, mate. Best of luck on June the 24th. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Daniel.